We've checked out Horizon Workrooms for working in VR on Quest on the channel in the past, but it just got a massive refresh that makes it way better. Let's dive in and check out what's going on with it, how it functions, and how much better it actually is now for working in VR. The setup process literally took minutes downloading the software onto the PC and getting everything set up in headset. Let's do a walkthrough together and see just what's changed. Okay, so I'm starting off in the main quest menu in pass through because I want to see how fast it connects to my PC. I've got everything set up already, so we're going to go to the Horizon Workrooms, we're going to tap on that. We're going to see how long it takes to connect virtually to the PC. There we go, pops into place. Personal office. That was pretty fast, actually. There's the monitors right there, it auto-connects when you log into this. You can do pass-through if you want, but it looks weird because my monitors are right there. So we're going to stick with immersive. I kind of like it. The view looks really nice, actually. Hold on, let's... Uh, Let's pull that down really quick. Pull this out of the way just so you can see the view. Look at that. It's actually not a bad view. A nice little office pod that you get. The water is even moving and you got some mountains in the background. This is movable. You can pretty much move it anywhere. Oops, let me grab this right here. Move it all around you. So if I want just two monitors and I want to keep it the way that I have it on my actual PC, I would just do this. Scale it up. You can move it all around if you want to or if you want additional monitors, you can actually have another monitor. So let's hit another monitor here. And you think you can have up to three monitors. There we go. So we've got a virtual monitor. Let's get this centered more so it's actually <laughs> in front of us. There we go. Pull this to the center. There. Now I've got three full-size monitors right in front of me. I can scale them up and down if I'd like to. Scale them back if I want to see them better or get make them bigger. It is only 1080p, which my monitors, I think, are... They're not 1080p, but they're not 4K. But that's not that bad, really, for what we're going to be using it for if I'm going to be using it. I'm going to do some video editing to test it out, kind of see how it works, maybe some productivity stuff, just to kind of get a feel for it. I've actually been working on this thumbnail. Not in here. I just, I just finished it uh, for Mudrunner VR. That, that video is out today, actually. If you want to check it out, it's on the gaming channel. Link in the description. That, that video came out today as well. Um, but yeah, it works really well. Let's see what other options we've got. We've got our avatar here. It's not actually talking or anything right now. you got your desk. You can set this pass-through. I like this. It's cool. You can turn it off if you want. But I like the fact that this actually is right where my keyboard and mouse are. And my mic, if I need to use that. And it uh, easily allows me to see it. And because the pass-through is pretty good on Quest 3, it actually works really well. You can also do personal office here. This gives you your upcoming appointments, the room that you're in. Um, oops, hold on. Hit allow. That'll put us um, into an actual room. There we go. So this is a, an office meeting room. You can have your, uh, your actual computer in front of you as, as well for this one. You can resize and uh, make it bigger. Smaller, switch screens. Oops, let's switch screens and it works. There we go. You can cycle between your screens. This is pretty seamless. Like I could be in a meeting here with um, somebody here, some people over here, and we all could have our monitors right here. And you can actually screen share on the uh, front here, so people can see what I'm actually doing. I'm not. Kind of, I'm not sure what kind of lag this would have because I haven't tested this in a while. But that's pretty darn impressive. Now let's stop screen sharing. This will allow you to change the brightness of it. This is the PC's volume. Um, if you're screen sharing, my guess is, is that it actually shares the volume to everyone in here. Um, I don't know if they can hear it when I'm actually, you know, playing something if it's just in front of me. You can raise your hand if you need to raise your hand if it's like a, a big meeting. Uh, let's see. We'll change the room in just a second. You can change your seat if you want by just... You know, pointing and clicking. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Let's uh, change the room. I'm pretty sure you can do adjustments to the room as well. There we go. You can edit access to the room. Let's see, with people with access, you can, any with a link, you can send a link to people and they can jump in. There's the PC. Here's settings, desk. And then uh, there you go. That's, that's what you can do. The more people that jump in, I believe the bigger that this gets, uh, so you can have a bigger space. Now, let's go back to our main area, our home area. 
Um, disconnect. No, 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 not disconnect computer. Hold on, just a second. Let's disconnect the call. Leave the room. Personal office. There we go, back to the personal office. Now, my question is, if we hit Matt Quinlan's room, like, can you make adjustments to the room? Like, is there anything else you can do for the room? Uh, what do you got for settings here? Okay, that's it. Connect automatically, blah, blah, blah. So it looks as if there's not really any adjustments you can make to the actual room here, I don't think. Let me just check this. Make sure there's no uh, settings I can change. So I don't think that I can actually make adjustments to the room itself. Settings, edit your name, desk, avatar. Oh, look, there's my mouth moving. <laughs> okay, that's that's uh, what happens if you get your mic on. Let me turn your mic on and off. Uh, change seats. So I guess you can't actually change the room. I was hoping you'd be able to change the room. You might be able to do it on the desktop settings. Hold on, let's, let's uh, um, hold on. Let's pull up a first. Let's go back to our primary room really quick. Leave. All right. Let's pull up a window here. Uh, let's just do a new. There we go. All right. Um, let's do Meta Horizon workrooms. Let's see if there's anything you can do in here to sign in and log in and make any changes. I don't know if you used to be able to make changes. I'm not sure. Rooms available right there. Uh, there's a room. Can we change the room? Leave room. Oh, uh, that's that's the room we're in right now. Okay. Uh, invite people. New room. Cancel. Uh, all right. So, can you join from a computer? I think you can. Oh, you can. You could do a workroom call. So you can allow. <laughs> uh, let's. VR is in the meeting. Okay. Let's do. Um, allow camera and microphone. Allowed every visit. Allowed. Okay. Allow on every visit. I want to see. There it is, right there. Okay. Now I want to see. Let's hit join. That's that's me, obviously, right there. Let's hit join. I want to see what pops up in here as a, if a person joins. Okay. So there's a waiting for others to join. Let's go to my room. Myself. <laughs> we'll see if I see myself. I don't see myself. Oh, I bet you I started my own room. Hold on a second. Let's uh, let's go back. <laughs> let's see what's going on here. I left the room. You can only be in one place at a time. Okay, that's why. All right, anyways. <laughs> that's not what I wanted to do. I want to see if there's settings. I guess that's all you got. But anyways, it's pretty awesome still, really. Uh, what you can do in this, very seamless. Like, and because of the clarity of the Quest 3, it actually looks really good, too. I could actually see myself editing in this. And because I could see my keyboard and my mouse, but I just wanted to show you how cool this is. Now I just need to do some actual meetings and uh, see what it's like to meet up with people in here with uh, working. I'd like to have some meetings and show some people. I'd like to do that. But let me know in the comments what you think. If this is something that you would use, especially uh, as headsets get lighter. By the way, that's the real time. Let's see, 11.39 a.m. That is the real time, which is cool. A little clock on there if you need to use that. Yeah, I might actually experiment with this and see how this works. That was That's actually really cool. <laughs> Very impressed with this, especially the clarity. I don't know if you can see how good this looks, but it actually looks really good in headset. Very crisp, clear, and I, I can actually use this. I think this is a great alternative, especially if you have a wireless keyboard and mouse and you want to go sit somewhere like at a table and you have a computer on the same network as you and you can connect to it, just not at your desktop. Be pretty awesome too. There you go. That's the refresh slash update for Horizon workrooms. So far, there's some things that I think could be adjusted still, like the ability to edit the room again. They used to have that, but it's since gone away, it seems. You used to be able to change the layout and all of that stuff. Maybe you still can and just can't find the settings. It is in beta right now, though, so hopefully a full launch will just make the experience even better. But as a personal office, doing it for yourself and working in VR. It's pretty awesome to have the ability to add a virtual monitor and it works seamlessly. It just works really well. So let me, what do you think though? Let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are on this. I'd love to know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and happy questing.